going to place our drive shafts into our motors or our 393 motors in Autodesk Inventor. And how we are going to start that is we're going to start out by placing the shaft. And I'm going to use a four inch shaft uh, with my motor because I still have to put gears and everything on it. So let me, let me show you how to navigate to that folder. Uh, you have your project folder. And then inside your project folder, if you go down a few, you have uh, the drive shafts right there. So go ahead and double click on the drive shaft. And we're going to start out with a four inch shaft. And if we need to cut it down to size, we'll do that later. So go ahead and open up the four inch drive shaft and place it on the screen. Now what we have to do is we have to place this drive shaft inside the motor. And how we do that is by changing the visibility of some of these rails that we demoted here. So I'm going to select the outside rail, right click on it, and uncheck the visibility on that one. Then I'm going to click on the next one, uncheck the visibility on that one, and I may have to go inside the browser window to do that. So I'm going to uncheck visibility, remove associativity, yes, we can do that for right now. Uh, let's go ahead and place the drive shaft. We need to constrain the drive shaft, and we are going to do an insert constraint. The insert constraint, we are going to start off with the little bend here. If you see the little bend in the shaft, uh, you can uh, click on that and then you have your center line constraint there. So let's go ahead and turn the window so we can see inside this motor. If you see inside the motor, inside the motor you'll see a circle here. And we can do an insert constraint with that circle and our shaft. So we'll get the center line of the shaft and the center of this motor. So we're going to go ahead and place that. And you'll notice that it's off at an angle. We need to fix that as well. So hit apply for our last constraint. And we are going to do an angle constraint because this surface of the shaft won't mate perfectly with the surface over here. So we can't do a regular mate constraint. We have to do an angle constraint. So I'm going to click on an angle constraint. And what an angle constraint does is it will uh, change the angle of the item with, at, at the same angle as your other item there. So click on one surface there. I'm going to click on that face. And now I need to zoom in. And I'm, you guys may need to exit out of this and turn the shaft just a little bit in order to get uh, the face here. But I can see the face here. So I'm going to click on that face. And you'll notice that now the shaft is aligned inside the motor. I'm going to hit apply and I'm going to exit this. Now our shaft should be able to turn. However, it's not turning because we have, we need one more step in order to get our motor to turn with our shaft. And that's, that's uh, we, in order to do that, we need to click on our motor and we're going to right click on the two wire motor and say, make it flexible. So inside your browser window here, Go ahead and right click on your two wire motor and make it flexible. Now, when we uh, right click and just select off of that or left click and select off of our uh, selections here or hit escape, you can always hit escape to um, stop using the tool that you are currently using. Then you can, now you can turn your shaft and it'll turn with the motor. So go ahead and have fun with that. Uh, I will see you guys in the next video.